Uh, you're on. Hi there, I'm Zoe. I'm Clint's wife. Um, might have met you before. If I haven't, hi. Um, we thought we'd bring Wizzy to you, and um, I'm going to talk to you about the prints. We make all these prints ourselves. We have about 500 different ones, and they're nearly all of them are signed and limited edition. These ones in the baskets here, they're prints, and this wall are prints, but we'll take you through the ones on the wall a bit later. I'm just going to show you that, that there's um, just a few out of these baskets. We have three different sizes, mainly. We have this small size, of which we have probably about 400 different ones, and um, on the website they're £24, signed limited edition. We have many, many subjects, so they can be for a child, a newborn baby, a friend who's um, friends who are getting married, could be a retirement gift, just a birthday gift, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas gift, anything. We have so many different subjects that they can be for anyone. We have a lot of different dog ones, and we've just done crafts, so we've got a lot of new dogs that we never had last year at Wisley. And also, he did a lot of new prints for Christmas as well, so again, you wouldn't have seen them last year at Wisley. So, I just can take you through just a couple. We have a new, if Clint wants to zoom in on this, okay? Uh, we have a new Bichon Frise, and there he is, a Bichon um, Frise, and it's called Bichon Frise because it's sitting on an iceberg, eating an ice cream. So that's just an example of some of the silly, silly kind of sense of humour that Kent has. This was the old Bichon Frise one. If you've got a Bichon, you might already have this. Then one of another new ones he was doing, he's managed to do all four Belgian Shepherds, which we have been time and time again asked for, and he finally got round to doing those. And the theme on those is that Belgians are best and then it says best beer, best chocolates, best dogs, Belgium's are best. And it goes through the four different Belgian dogs, Belgian Shepherd dogs. Um, we have many, many different dogs. A new, um, new Dachshund, black and tan Dachshund in the small size. He's called Dash Hound. And so he's dashing along um, on a skateboard, this one. We have the different colored Dachshunds as well. We've also done a Dapple. Um, a new Collie. This is a new cauliflowers. We have the original black and white cauliflowers, but this one's a red collie, or I think they call it sable as well. And just for those that have got the more unusual collie dog. So, more dogs going through. Um, greyhounds are always really popular. The greyhound, retired greyhound print is, has been very, very popular, but we only had one colour version, which was this one, sort of a grey colour, grey and white. Now he's done about three or four new ones, one of which was this one, and it's retired greyhound again, and it is sort of a brindley tan colour one, and he's on a hammock, um, asleep with his sunglasses on, with a bottle of champagne on the ground, reading, or was reading, he's got his book on his chest, I think he's asleep. We go through some more prints. We have two new Jack Russell ones. This is the kind of rough coated Jack Russell. I'm concentrating more on the ones that have black on them. Just one that is just simply black and white. And he's called Jack Rustle. And he's rustling a bag of crisps. And this is the Jack in a Box that we've done several times before, but it's also in a tri colour now and in the rough coat. This one, um, Whippets, are always really popular, and again, we've been asked time and time again to do new colours. So he's done again about four new Whippets. This one's been the most popular so far, and it's the tan or the fawn coloured Whippet um, whipping away a pizza. It's just called Whippet. Okay, so we have so many other subjects as well, although dogs are really, really popular. We have lots for children and um, some are more for boys, some are more for girls, and some are for both. We have the jungle and safari ones. This one's called Power Shower. And then we have um, vehicles and dinosaurs, pirates and knights. Then we have more, more girly ones. So we have, um, where are the girly ones? They're over here. We have fairies like Make-A-Wish and we have horses and ponies 
and we have woodland animals, farm animals, lots of bird ones. This one I love, it's called Blackbird and Robin. And then we have lots of sporting ones. One of our most popular ones is this one, which is called You Can't Have Too Many Bikes. And that's a guy with just loads and loads of bikes. So that's quite appropriate for a lot of people. We also have two other sizes in prints. There's this one here, and these ones are 32 online, and they're a really nice long format. This one's called March of the Penguins, and that's a really popular one. And then we have the largest size print, and again, we have many different subjects in those. And in these ones, he's done some new, new dog ones. This one's called, just called, A Bounce of Springers. Lots of springers on their pogo sticks. Really happy print that one. This picture is called the Owlry. Okay, I've done various pictures like this with different owls in different positions, and it's just really a bit of fun. And it, what it does is really takes in different shapes of owls, and there's kind of associations between the owls. You can see that it's quite a noisy kind of arrangement. You know, they're, they're almost having conversations or sleeping or flying towards you. I like the design, there's a nice strong element across here, and also you've got these birds flying towards you. Okay, now this painting is called Gulls in Line. It's square, uh, and we saw these gulls originally sitting on a beach in Hale, and I did a lot of preparatory drawings for this, um, these kind of pictures. I love the kind of stones that there is here. I mean, in Cornwall there's quite a lot of granite, and I think these stones here, uh, with the marvelous colors, are really nice. Again, I'm not really that bothered about whether the yellow crosses the black. I kind of like that kind of thing. You know, not too worried about that, and I just like these shapes. These shapes of these wings on the gulls are really nice. I've just made them slightly different blue colours to sort of reflect the light there is in Cornwall. patterns in grey and orange and this design I've used quite a few times really I mean I love the idea of the birds all being in one line and having their heads almost in one position and also an idea of a landscape behind very simple colours but really only three or four colours that's what I liked about these Okay, um, this painting is, is kind of one which has been preconceived, so really it's been designed, you know, and I've worked hard on the design to make them some kind of rhythms between a lot of these different types of birds. So we've got oyster catchers, you know, and we've got curlew shapes, you know, we've got an adverse set in the middle here, and we've got a black-backed gull here. And so they are kind of all different birds that I've kind of brought together. I mean, it's sort of anchored, really, by these posts which I saw. And 
you know, sort of, and the reflections on those posts. And so there's one, two, three, four of those, and that kind of brings the whole thing together. And there's a background with the birds crossing behind. I like that, it's nice. Okay, this painting is a really good example of my work, I think. Um, the, what, the reason I say this is because um, technically it's really good. Ooh. And also, it's a bit of a wind there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the trouble with having this thing out, doing this thing outside. But technically it's good, but in design, it's a strong piece of design. So we've got a strong piece of design and we've also got some lines in here which are really technically good. This line from this point here that goes round to form that wing and also this line, this stroke across here, okay, kind of brings the whole thing together. Also, we've got a really nice bit of watercolour in there. It fades slightly. The colours, as colours fade from, from the background here into the foreground, which it gets a bit, gets a bit pinker and I really like that. This is one of the paintings I really like. 